Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been like at least a few months that I did a vlog, but pretty much been in lockdown for the last few months here in New Zealand. And um, as one of the unvaccinated, not gonna get into it, but uh, yeah, can't go back to the office. So pretty much just been working from home for the last few months, but been pretty happy. I can still go do all my car shit. And we got a, finally a Sylvia update video today. So the engine bay has been finished. The new exhaust has been finished. The wheels have been measured and I'm about to order them, but I'm not gonna show you guys those uh, just yet. We'll wait until they arrive. And then uh, today we're just gonna go visit James. He is installing the Helltech display dash and also gonna do a retune for the new exhaust and manifold setup. So we'll go over to James's workshop and finally get to see the Sylvia again. What's up guys, so we just got to JT's shop. Uh, we got the Sylvia here on the dyno. Um, I don't think I've really gone over anything in the last few months because of lockdowns and everything. So I'll show you guys around the engine bay and then how the car's progressing. Um, James is just in the middle of tuning it on the dyno and rewiring a bunch of stuff. So I'll show you around. This is the car in its current state. So pretty much just a Frankenstein. But Min and the boys over at Spec2 have done an incredible job on the engine bay. So bear in mind, the rocker cover still needs to be painted. That's going to be matched the color of the body, which is yet to be revealed. And the engine bay, all of this will be the same color. This Nardo gray that we've got in the interior. Super messy right now. Everything's just an absolute shit show. But um, yeah, we spent a few months at one shop during lockdown and um, they managed to get everything done. So we've got new radiator from Phoenix, all new radiator hoses everywhere, brand new intercooler. I'm pretty sure it's custom made, full custom made uh, piping for the hot side and the cold side. Then we got uh, the brace, the intake manifold, and what else? And then we got the brace and the intake manifold pro-coated, so they're just like a really nice gloss silver now. Uh, we got a custom catch can made, and then we got these awesome uh, AN lines for the oil. So we're cleaning up a bunch of the engine bay. We removed a bunch of the stock wires and you know all the random little things, just tidying it up. So when we go to paint the engine bay, we'll have to just you know take all these stuff off, give it a um, probably take the hot side off. Take all that, spray the engine bay, get it all sorted, but it's looking really good. And more importantly, it'll just be, you know, we never even had any heating problems before, but we definitely won't have any now, this massive intercooler. This intercooler is twice the size of the one I had before and probably like six times bigger than the stock S13. And this is still stock engine, mostly except for turbo. So yeah, super excited. I'm gonna get a little um, cover for this because it looks pretty rank. And we'll probably relocate a few more things or, I don't know, delete some stuff. I, yeah, it's, it's kind of hard to envision it right now, but it's going to be good. So then coming around to the inside, obviously last time the inside's all painted. And we now have the Haltech uh, dash display in there. So Jane, that's what James has been hooking up today. So they also made me this custom, it's kind of hard to see, this custom manifold. It's a uh, unequal length headers, so two of the headers are a little bit longer than the others. And then that comes up into the turbo. We've got the wastegate going back into the exhaust. And then around the back, we've got Sylvia staple. We've got the double shotgun tip out the back. And fuck, it's hot. <laughs> and it's pretty much a straight pipe all the way back. So I'll check up a sound clip. Oh, we'll see it in a sec, but. It sounds fucking sick. Sounds pretty good for a Sylvia. And uh, when we build the engine with James probably next year, we'll uh, chuck some big cams in there and make it sound even more grunty. But yeah, it's um, it's been a long time. It's the first time I've seen the car in like two months or so. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there.
Dawson. So we got the Sylvia back at home now. It's gonna sit here over Christmas and New Year's and then around the end of January we should be able to drop it off back to custom coatings to finally get all the bodywork and the paint finished. So I think that'd take a solid two, three months, hopefully not much longer than that. Um, other than that, we just need to order the wheels, which I'll do hopefully in the next week or two. I ended up needing to spend a lot more on wheels than I thought because these rear arches are just crazy big. We couldn't find a single wheel in stock in New Zealand, let alone through most usual, usual companies. I could have got some work wheels, but I just like, it's such a unique looking car. And especially with the paint job, you guys are gonna see it's such a unique build that I wanted to do something a bit more special. So I ended up spending a lot <laughs> a lot on these wheels. The rears are 18 by 10.5 of like a crazy huge offset, but they're gonna be super deep dish, crazy. They're gonna be awesome. But yeah, I'm super happy with how the car's coming along so far. Pretty much got everything we need. There's a few little things like this trim piece here, um, some interior bits. We need to get, James is gonna hook us up with kind of like a switchboard for here so we can turn on the ignition and the fans and everything. Obviously we need to put the glass back in. The rocker cover is going to be painted the same color as the body so it won't be this chewed up black and we're also going to be painting the uh the whole engine bay the same color as the interior of the car this pretty much all has to come out again at some point um once grant gets his hands on it but yeah super super happy with how everything's looking it's a bit of a frankenstein but i know that we're close to the finish line I still don't get my driver's license back until May of next year, so there won't really be any mini, any driving vlogs or anything. But once we get back into that, we'll be doing lots more vlogs and heaps of uh, content with this car on the channel. I also just upgraded my BMW to stage 2 plus, so that's now a solid 400, 420 horsepower ish as well. And also with the new exhaust system, we were able to get an extra 20 kilowatts out of the car. So before the exhaust it was 200 kilowatts at the wheels and now we got a solid 219 i think it was uh at the wheels which is about 350 horsepower at the crank so gonna be plenty of power for when we learn to drift and then once i get my you know once i can drift this thing quite well at this power level we'll rebuild the engine hopefully aim for about 300 kilowatts at the wheels thanks so much for watching guys and we'll hopefully see you again very soon bye Brand new wheel just hopped in. Just hopped in. i got options i can pass that stuff like stock just Josh.